Hello everyone, this is Anya Deco Toast. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a second try on a video that I have already made, um, I'm guessing months ago. And it, I look back at it and it was a complete disaster. And I admit it, I don't think I knew what I was doing back then, not that I do know very much now, but I'm improving little by little, I think, I hope. Um, but anyways, it is the makeup application video. Oh my goodness. That video was horrible. And, and I'll be the first one to admit it. There just wasn't enough room in my bathroom for me to place the camera. So all you saw was the reflection of my face in the mirror, which didn't give you much of a view. So that's why I decided to come here today. Um, I also have a little bit of different equipment, um, a new mirror, which I'll talk about in the video and just all of that hopefully will result in a better video. So if you'd like to see how I put this makeup look together, keep on watching. All right, so here we are. I really hope that this setup works this time because how many times can I try to film the same video over and over again? Um, okay, so normally what I would start with is my eyes, but because I seem to be breaking out a lot and my face is a little bit red, uh, I'm just going to start with the foundation um, just to spare you guys the view. So. Uh, I'm actually going to start with the primer and I've been using this one that came in my last Sephora box and I've been loving this. It's so hydrating and it smells so good. And this video is not by any means a makeup tutorial. It's not a review of any products. It's just a sort of how I do it with my feet, which is really a... Um, it's a repetition of the video that I've made in the past that turned out horribly. So I just, I had to do this again because that video, when I look back at it now, a few months later or whenever it was that I filmed it, I was like, oh my goodness. But in my defense, I didn't really have, well, I guess the tripod that I use right now makes a huge difference with recording because that I can just stand it anywhere. I used to have the one where you have to attach to something and then it's like, well, where do I attach it to? Especially in my bathroom and my bathroom is not big. So it was just, yeah, there wasn't enough space uh, for me to keep the camera far enough like it is here. This is why I decided to film it here I figured it would give me plenty of room to move the camera around if I needed to. Okay, I'm just going to put these things here that I'm done using. Okay, and also finally this mirror I think is going to make such a big difference. Um, just because one, it's big. Two, look at this adjustment. I mean, you can go like this. You can move it this way. This is like, and it's so easy. Like I have bought a different one a while ago and I ended up returning it because in order for me to move it like this, I would have to hold the, the base of it with my other foot. And that was just too hard for me to do. I just, I want things that are easy, not things that are gonna make me struggle. So I finally bought this one. Um, I'll leave the name of it uh, down below in the description box, but I have been loving this. I love things that make such a big difference for me. You know, just things that make life easier. So now I'm going still with the uh, trial size um, Sephora Playbox foundation. It's the Makeup Forever. And I actually like this, this little tube because then I can just kind of dab it on my face. Oh my 
something that's just not enough for me. Uh oh. Okay, I might not be able to just dab it on. I have to kind of squeeze it out like this. And then I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it out on my face. So normally before putting on foundation, um, I would use a under eye concealer, but I forgot because every time I film this, I get so stressed out that I kind of forget what I'm doing. So just bear with me here. We'll try it after, which most people use it after foundation. I'm not sure why, and I don't know why I do it differently. I've never done it after, but I guess we'll give it a try now. The whole table is shaking for me doing this. So as I've no mentioned um, in my first makeup video, I when I am in my bathroom, in front of me, I have the cabinet with the mirror. And so I have a mirror literally in front of me. And then there's one over here when I open the doors. So then when I do this side of my face and my head is turned this way, I can see myself over there, which I can't do it here. Um, but this is how my bathroom is set up and it's working really, really nice. I mean, the more places I have mirrors, the better because I do move my head so much when I do this. Now that the redness is sort of under control, I'm going to close this up. I'll just keep things here. Um, so next I'm going to use the concealer, which is actually right in here. So I have the one from, um, Too Faced and it's called Born This Way. And then I do also have the Tarte. I do find that the Too Faced one is a little bit, um, more moisturizing. And my under eye area is actually like right over here is lighter than the rest of my face, just, I guess because of the redness. So I usually don't like to make it too, too light. I'm just going, I'm not even going to go too close. Just like that. Close this up. And then I'm going to use the other side of the beauty blender and kind of blend this up. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I have uh, moisturized my face before I started this video. Obviously I've cleansed it, moisturized all of that. So we're just continuing on. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to switch my method of application because, huh, I guess there is a good reason why people do it this way. Okay. I'm going to leave this here in case we need it again. And I'm going to finish up the rest of my face later on. I think I'm, what I'm going to do now, which is not my usual order either, but I will, well, let me see, actually. No, I just don't know why I get so confused with these things every time I film. I don't put on makeup every single day. 
but when I do, I usually don't have these problems. So, um, also a trial size. This, I've been using this for so long and I still haven't run out, out of it. It's the Urban Decay, what's it called? Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I do have a full size of this, but while I was using the full size, I got this from a friend and I'm still using it. So that last, ooh, I just squeezed out like way too much of it. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to get like the stuff from the back of the tube and then too much came out, but it's okay. So for this, I use my toe, usually my second one. Sometimes my little one when I need to really get in there. And I usually tilt the mirror upwards so that I have to look down to see myself. Um, that way my eyelid is nice and stretched out. It's not creasing. And then if there's a little too much, then I use my big toe to kind of get rid of the excess. And this is why this adjustable mirror is so great because for every side of my face, for every part of my face, I need the mirror to be tilted a different way. So this is just like so great. I'm, I just, this has been one of my um, better purchases, definitely that I've made lately. Okay, that's that. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows before I do my eyeshadow, just because I want there to be a little color on my face before I start doing that. So it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is, it usually has a little bit too much product on the brush. It's, it's a spoolie, um, so I kind of try to wipe off as much as I can. And then I just gently brush this on my eyebrows. So the eyebrows are done. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention about the mirror is the fact that it's, I don't think I've said this, it's lighted all around and it actually has three different uh, light modes. So there's the white natural, I think, there's the warm, and like the daylight. Um, and this makes the biggest, biggest difference. The light is very bright. But when I constantly look down and the, my lights are up above me, then I can't see what I'm doing because my face is kind of in the shadow unless it's reflecting right in the mirror, which in my bathroom it kind of is. But this is still just giving me such a better view of what I'm doing. It's amazing, like really amazing. Okay, so let me move this stuff just a little bit because now, for my eyeshadows, I use this, uh, it's a messier quick color removal for the brushes. When I switch between colors, um, it just makes it quick. It's not like a brush cleaner. Um, it just removes the color so that you can switch between. And the palette that we're going to be using today is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. And I just recently got this. Um, so let me show you this. These are the colors. And I've been really, really enjoying them. I've used it a couple times uh, so far. I still don't know exactly what I want to do on my eyes today, actually. Which is kind of a problem because I should have that figured out by now. Fold it in half so that it's not taking as much space. Okay, so I always, always start with the lightest, like, skin toned. Actually, it's lighter than skin tone. 
um, color and pop it on the entire lid because then it's easier to blend the colors as opposed to on the eyeshadow primer directly. This mirror is amazing. Wow. And then I usually tap the brush off um, by my sink. And here I don't have the place to do that. So I just kind of dab it first and then kind of go over the whole thing. And then here is my biggest problem with the eyeshadows, which I have tried fixing that by sticking tape right here and right here so that I don't go down, out and down too far. But it's like I get one eye kind of okay, but then the other one is not okay. And then I have like droopy eyelids, which just is a whole other story of why it's a problem. But we'll try to make this look decent. And I'm kind of wanting to do, I don't know if I'm going to do like a cut crease, but I think I will use the tart uh, tape shape, shape tape, shape tape, uh, over my eyelid just to make some of the glitter colors. Cause I know I will use some kind of a, either a glitter or like a shimmer color <clears throat> on my lid. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to take a smaller brush now. And that happened. Hold on. Okay. All right, see I have to hold this before I do that. And maybe I'll keep my brushes here. I kind of think I'm going to go a little bit kind of mauve purpley, and I think I'm going to start off with like a very light color and do it from my crease up. This is a lot of foot and head coordination, if you will. I guess people usually just use their hand when they do that. Well, I have to kind of use both. Also, I have a door to the deck over here and there's a little bit of snow and it's a pretty sunny day. And because it's on this side, I kind of see the two sides a little bit differently. So, there's always little things that make it difficult. Okay. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to just take this little flat brush and just a little bit of this concealer. And for this, I'm really going to have to look down. So I'm going to tilt my mirror again. That way you bring it a little closer. Now I'll put just a little bit of this on top of my foot.
Now dab on a little bit on the brush. And I'll put that right in the corner. So I didn't want there to be like really harsh edges um, to the concealer. So I tried my best to like make sure it's nice and sort of blend it out in a way. So that then when I pop on the shimmer color, it's not going to be like, so I guess it's not necessarily a top crease. I just do this to make the color pop a little more and then before I dip that brush in the actual shimmer, co shimmer color I'm going to use a little bit of a tart setting spray it's the rainforest of the sea I love the way this thing smells okay oh I was like why did the light just change this mirror um the light turns off. I don't know exactly after how much time, but it does. And I mean, it's no big deal. I just press the button again, but but it does that. And I think, I think, I think I'm going to go in with this color, which I feel like when I was swatching these, this was like my favorite color. This is good and then what I'm going to do is take this brush again and I'm going to dip it into this sort of pinkish color I don't really know how to describe it And then I do want to darken the outer parts of my eye. So you know what? I'm actually going to use this brush. It's a thick brush, but it's got this like tapered tip at the end. So perhaps that will work good. So I'm going to use this like brown shade. like that and then I'll take the fluffy one and blend it out okay I think they're looking pretty even and this the eyes is definitely what takes me the longest out of everything else I do to my face and I think that's just because I use all the colors and the blending and all of that and it's just you know I could do it um, much simpler definitely I just choose not to so now I'm going to take the same shades that I used on my um, lids and put them on my lower lid so I'll kind of try to reflect the top on the bottom. And I sort of overlap the colors to make them blend. And then I'll take that darkest brown 
I'm going to put it right on the outer corner. I'm going to connect it to the top. Okay, now all that's left is taking that shimmer shade and putting it in the inner corner or the inner part of my lower lid. All right, wipe the color off. We're almost done with the eyeshadow. Oof, um, almost. I need a, what is this brush? This one, sort of thinner than the other one I used. And I'm going to put some of that lightest shade that I put as the first color that I used and put that under my eyebrow just a little bit and i will also go in with maybe something with more of a highlighter okay this time it was my light that went out one of the light bulbs That's that. Let me think. Okay. Next, I will just move this aside a little bit. And this. And I'm going to go in with an, an eyeliner. And I totally forgot to sharpen it before starting this video. So because I have droopy eyelids, I kind of don't want the eyeliner to take up space of where my eyeshadow is. So what I do is I try to tight line and I still have no idea if this is the way I'm supposed to do it, if I'm doing it correctly, but it's worked for me so far. So I kind of have to go underneath my eyelashes and really get that color kind of in between the lashes, I guess. And this makes such a big difference. I mean, I'm sure already you can see that this is much darker than this one. And it just kind of provides that um, darker base uh, of your eyelashes. And I love doing this. It's not a fun process, really. I actually, it's kind of uncomfortable. But the results are totally worth it. And again, when I do this, it's kind of like very small movements of my head and my foot at the same time. I have to switch between the two because otherwise it, um, I'm making the eye blink. Okay. I think that's good. There's that light back on again. So after I do that, I'm going to do my eyelashes. I really need to buy a new waterproof mascara. That's what I need to do. It's on my list. Okay. So again, with the right angle, it's really important trust me it's so important and the problem i have with mascaras is that sometimes i go in too much and the brush touches my eyelid which is really not good after all this work that i've just done i really don't want to be doing that so let's try not to
what does make it easier is having everything available so you, I don't have to constantly get up and go get things. I mean, if I could, I would have everything like, you know, with the spin of a chair <laughs> within my reach, but that's impossible. Um, okay, so to finish off before I can move on, I have to run and get that thing that I forgot. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And this is what I went to get. Um, it's the Urban Decay Naked Flushed. And it's like a blush, highlighter, and bronzer uh, set. So this is, okay, so first of all, I'm going to take a little brush Actually, two brushes because the color that I used under my eyebrows just isn't um, isn't giving me enough of a highlight. Uh, so I'm going to put some of this underneath. Wipe this off, and then I'm going to take a smaller brush. And use that same color and I'll go um, in my tear duct area right on the inside here so we're done with the brushes now no we're not I lied we're done with this though Okay, my lips are really dry, so sorry if I keep flicking. Um, I don't know why. Okay, so actually before I do anything else, I'm just going to take my beauty blender again and just kind of dab it on, make sure it's not like creasing anywhere or doing anything funny. Okay, awesome. And now I'm going to take this brush, I'm going to wipe it, and I'll use a little bit of the bronzer. I do not know how to contour my face. So, I don't know, I just like pop a little bit over here. I'm always afraid to go too dark. So, I don't even know if it makes any difference that I do this, to be honest with you. And of course, on this side, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, maybe like, oh, there you go. See, sometimes it's as simple as repositioning something that I'm holding that uh, makes the difference. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe this color off a little bit and use the blush that's in here. Pop it on my cheeks. We are almost done. Oh, I did want to say, did I say that usually when I do my makeup, it takes me an hour. I'm not sure how long this is taking so far, but I'm pretty sure it's close to that. Um, that's just, I don't know why. It just takes a long time, especially when I really want to do a good job. So now i was debating whether i should use this highlighter excuse me which i think i will use that one um, just for fun this is going to be really sparkly and since i'm on camera it's not really going anywhere today then i can kind of make it a little bolder oh yeah And I do really, really like putting a little bit of this right above my lip. So 
right over there. This is exactly why I decided to film two videos today because I figured if I'm going to spend an hour putting makeup on to film a video, I might as well film a video of me putting the makeup on. See how that makes sense? At least in my head it does. Um, okay, so this we don't need anymore. And now I'm going to use part um, setting powder just to kind of give me a little bit of a more matte finish so I'm not too shiny. And sometimes on top of that, I also use a setting spray and I'll use this little guy from Urban Decay. And the reason I'm going to do this now is because I want to show you how. So obviously I can't spray it in just one foot and I can't, my feet are too far when I do it with both. So rest it on my knee like this and then there you go and last but not least what do i want to do i think i'm going to use a lip liner to outline and fill my lips light went off again. I have to time it to check the instructions. Okay, just to give me a little bit of a base. And what I just decided to do is I have this lipstick from Sephora, like the actual Sephora collection. And it's a little bit, it's like a pinkish, purplish color, um, but because I don't want too much of it, I'm going to use a lip brush to kind of take a little bit of it. And I have a pair of earrings, and these are usually the type of earrings that I wear. I do wear some that close, the ones that it's like a stick and then you push it through and then you have to put that other piece in the back on it. Those are, well, pretty much impossible because I do only have one foot to do it. So these I find are the easiest. Because you just put this in. I don't always wear um, earrings. There you go. Like, I don't wear them every day. Okay. Another one. So, we're done. I really hope you guys enjoyed me creating this look, watching me how exactly it is that I get ready. As you saw, I don't really have any um, special equipment to do this. It's just kind of figuring out the best um, position and placement and, and all of that. And obviously there's some things that make it easier for me than others. Um, the big thing is the mirror and the lighting and all of that. Um, but other than that, all of my makeup is just regular makeup. Um, and let me just say, I really enjoy doing my makeup. So I really hope you enjoyed watching me do it. And I really hope this video was a whole lot better than the first time I tried it. Um, it was technically my fifth 
time trying it because I have tried a few times in the middle there and it was just a complete fail and I was like no 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 I if I'm going to do this I'm going to do this right so I really hope this was good because if not then I give up thank you guys for watching again I hope you have a wonderful day and if you enjoyed this video please like and comment let me know that you did and uh, thanks for all your ongoing support and watching my videos and we'll see you again soon bye